Hi, I'm Dave from VPI and I'm going to share with you five tips on keeping your vacant property secure. So tip number one, um, and that is basically put in place a weekly inspection. So that's an inspection to check on the external areas, make sure doors and windows are secure and intact, there's been no signs of tampering. Um, and more importantly, um, is an inside check as well. So that's to check that everything is all right inside, utilities are okay, there are no leaks, um, take meter readings regularly. And, and it's an all round check just to keep your property safe and secure and um, safe in the knowledge that um, you know there's nothing towards happening there. Um, it may well be a condition of your insurance cover as well that you have to put in place a regular inspection. So make sure you do that um, almost straight away if your property becomes vacant, um, preferably weekly, um, just to cover all the bases in that respect. So tip number two is if you have gates and barriers to your property, then make sure that you're using them. Make sure they're closed and more importantly, make sure they are fully secured with robust chains heavy padlocks uh, and make sure they're really well secured to prevent any unauthorized occupation of the external areas of your property which may lead to damage to the uh, to the external areas of the building itself and can lead to problems down the line so if they're there make sure they're used um, if you have holes or gaps in your fence line or your gates or anything like that make sure they're well shored up just to make sure that nobody can get in um, through those through those areas. You essentially want to make it as hard as possible for someone to get in um, through those gates or fences or barriers um, and that's the best way to do it. Utilise heavy padlocks, robust chains and get them well secured. Okay, tip number three. Uh, it's a fairly simple one but probably one of the most important of the five um, and probably the, one of the most simplest to take care of and that is keys. If you don't know where every single key is, at least that, that can open the doors to your property or if they're not in your possession then seriously consider bringing in a locksmith and changing the locks to the main entry points to your property the last thing you want to do is make it easy for someone if the keys simply fall into the wrong hands and they essentially have free entry to your property to do whatever they want to do in there you know um, don't make it easy for them if you're not 100 percent sure where all the keys are to your property then research and engage a local locksmith to come and change the locks and your main entry points um, to give you full peace of mind. Tip number four. If you're considering shutting down the power to your vacant property and it's not uncommon to want to, want to do so for, for obvious reasons, consider the impact that it might have on any um, security or alert systems within the building. So that's fire alarm, intruder alarm, and any CCTV you might have on site, they will all need a degree of power to them to remain functioning. Um, you want them to remain functioning because they're probably the most powerful tools that you have to deter um, any possible criminal elements that might want to gain entry to the property. Um, so you would want to keep them running if at all possible and consider the impact that that would have if you were shutting off the power. Engage an electrician to give advice on that. Um, and, and how you can obviously get around that situation um, by turning off as much power as you can but keeping power to the essential security services which you um, ideally will want to keep in place. Tip number five is utilize a product such as Selector DNA which is a forensic marking solution. It's basically a liquid, it's invisible to the naked eye, it will show up under UV light, contains micro dots and also contains a synthetic unique DNA code. Um, basically you apply it to your valuable products um, you upload those details to a national database and that can be utilized by the police and insurance companies in the event of a theft um, it's a very versatile and very handy product to have in place you might think that if your property is empty what could there be there that has any possible value um, so you should consider applying it to any cabling that you have in your property water cylinders, copper piping, anything that you're storing on site that might have some sort of value to, um, to criminal elements um, if they you know, make an attempt to break in and steal what you have, strip out your, your piping or whatever. Um, 
these products normally come with warning labels that you can apply to windows and basically I would advise using them because it essentially advertises the fact that you have protected your valuable items within that property. It will put off the majority of opportunist criminals in the area. Um, it's an effective product in that respect where it makes your property essentially too hot to handle. They'll move on and find a softer target at the end of the day. So it's a great product to have in your armory and use it and make sure that you use the warning stickers that come with it as well.